Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for November the 1st through to the 15th. So we, I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. So we are in Scorpio season. There's a Scorpio new moon on the 15th, and that is promises to be some lovely energy, juju. And this is a general reading, Libra. It may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, there is an extended reading. The link will be in the description box below. We'll take a look at get some more information in that reading and take a look further into the future. So we have oh the Queen of Cups crossed by the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, lovely. We have the Ace of Swords, wow, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in the near future, the Lovers, that's you turning up as the Lovers, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Okay, Libra. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So, yeah, oh, lots of fours. And, yeah, I do feel like this actually might be, there might be a time. Okay, there's going to be this uh, one forward action rest forward action rest kind of energy here but i'm am getting that you're going to need some time to rest and recover and have some time in stillness in space but there's beautiful there's beautiful energies around here for this libra absolutely i feel like you're being held in a space at this moment in time because there's a lot going on it's a lot going on for you okay so let's pull an animal spirit energy for libra And your energy might be at odds with someone you're living with as well or energy surrounding you. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, buffalo. Wow. Okay, yes. And this is a very uh, auspicious time for you. Wow. Okay. Okay, a lot going on, but all good. So let's find out. Let's get some messages from the fairies for you, Libra. Oh, we have Tabira of the Waters, number 37. Wow, that's really beautiful, actually, this card. I'll just hold it up for you. And it's, there may be, this is all about allowing your emotions to flow, letting them flow, letting them process, letting them clear, even if there is sadness. There could be joy, but either way, whatever it is, it's allowing those emotions to that emotional body of yours to actually be free to flow. And that seems to be a very important energy. <laughs> it's actually, um, there's also the energy of playfulness with this, that there has been some seriousness around emotions, but there's also the playful side as well. And to not forget about that. So there's also that lovely energy that's coming through for you, Libra. So speaking of emotions, we have the Queen of Cups crossed by the Ten of Wands. And this is, yeah, letting go of an emotional burden, something that has been burdening you that you haven't been able to, it stopped you from looking after yourself, nourishing yourself, um, taking the best care of yourself. It really has been something that you've taken on. It's been a burden and it's time to let that go now. It's time to actually, yeah, start looking after yourself, your own heart, your own emotional body, because that needs, that's what's being looked at and healed and allowed to be uh, wanting it to flow. So that's actually really lovely. But yeah, just um, could be around nurturing yourself, pampering yourself as well, doing what's best for you here. So around that, you know, we have celebrations here with the Three of Cups in your conscious mind. You know, this can be family celebrations, getting together with friends. This can actually be your spirit guide celebrating that you are now in a position that you're letting this go. So there's a part of you, I think, that's actually going, woohoo, yay, I got rid of that. Let go of that burden, that expectation, that heaviness that was on me. And I actually feel really light and free now. There's a part of you really celebrating here. 
or wanting to celebrate anyway, wanting to find that something to celebrate about. Uh, we have at the base the Ace of Swords. So this is clarity and truth coming through for you. And actually being aligned to your truth is really what this is because, you know, that Queen of Cups, that burden that you've taken on wasn't aligned to your true self, wasn't aligned to who you why you're here and, and your truth. So releasing that lets go of this beautiful, beautiful, um, it, 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 allow, it creates that energy of celebration. It's this lovely release that comes through here. So there's clarity. It's like you knew that. You knew that wasn't right for you. In the recent past, you knew it wasn't right because look what you were, where you were, stuck. Stuck and it, you were stuck in your own thoughts. You limited in how you were seeing it. You were seeing it. It was coming on as a burden. You didn't want to be doing it. And now, you know, you're freeing yourself from that or it's you are being freed from that no matter how this is playing out. So, yeah, I mean, you could have always let it go. It wasn't like it had – you could have always. That might be something that you're realising now, but now you – really truly can or you in order to step into that lovely heart energy it's you're being encouraged to <laughs> so because it might be that you're feeling at this moment in time that you can't do that with this cross here but I think it's going to become very clear to you that through the truth will set you free quite literally so in the near future, we have the four of pentacles. And this is, you know, you might actually need to just save for a little while, not spend too much money, uh, still have a little bit of flexibility, but there is a sense of just holding, staying put with your finances, not doing anything too risky, not overspending, not investing, just saving <laughs> so that's kind of the energy with it. For whatever reason, um, again, this is this sense that you're being, things are being put on hold right at this moment. So no major purchases and things like that uh, is being encouraged. But you are here as turning up as the lovers. And yes, you do have a choice. Is this some thing that you love doing, this release, are you doing it for somebody else as well, not you, perhaps a loved one, perhaps a partner? But, I mean, this is the card of Gemini, the two sides of you, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The divine masculine is perhaps demanding that you hold this burden and you do this thing that you don't want to do. But the divine feminine is the one that's suffering that sense of nurturing and looking after yourself. So, you know, I do feel like there's a choice here and maybe, you know, being a Libra caught between two, two minds, two worlds, that makes it hard to have to make a decision. Making the decision itself could be the burden of feeling like you had to, you don't want to make the decision, but it's something you truly want to do. So the whole decision making process can be the burden here, Libra. But, yeah, look, I feel like ultimately you know, you understand what's true for you and that's coming in so strongly. So the energy around you is the Knight of Wands, you know, you're wanting to take action and you're actually wanting to follow, follow your dreams or follow your own, follow, do what it is that you want to do, um, you know, doing your own thing. You don't necessarily want to be doing what someone else wants you to be doing. So it's very much breaking free of expectations, this whole reading or other people's uh, expectations that they put on you. You kind of need your own freedom to allow that that um, your emotions to flow, that flow to come through because where that's being blocked in your fire energy could be related to a fire sign as well, where that's being blocked, your motivation to move forward. If your fire energy is blocked, then you won't be able to move forward. But 
once the fire and the heart, your heart and your desire and your motivation aligns, then there's these positive changes come in around your environment. So that's why, yeah, it's, it's interesting. And this is what you want. You do want harmony, harmony within that relationship, harmony with the home. It does feel like this relates to a significant other or a partnership here. So it's letting go of someone else's needs and expectations, but you do want that happy home. This can be marriage in some cases, but yeah, you definitely kind of being asked to honour yourself here, Libra, definitely being asked to honour yourself and how you feel about, about this. So this Knight of Wands can also be someone else's agenda. They're pushing you, pushing, pushing, pushing. They're wanting this they're wanting action they're wanting some kind of result or change and you're like oh look you know that's become a burden that you've got to try and put that on yourself it's not what you want it's someone else's desire and for you so that's why it's very important to be very discerning that truth that ace of swords is so important it can also be that there's a brilliant new idea coming for you libra that's kind of circulating deep within. And that's why I think that um, the universe just wants you to kind of take a moment to reassess where you're giving a lot of your emotional energy and to be a little bit still because this hanged man is coming in and it's actually suddenly seeing things. It's This is the ta-da moment. Ta-da! Suddenly see things from the right perspective. But I had to flip everything upside down and see it from a different angle to in order to get that. And so now I understand and you kind of needed to be in that space in order to be able to do that, you know, not necessarily charging forward and but in a space where you've had a bit the space to, to flip everything out and have a look at your mindset and assess things. So um, if you are being asked to be still at this moment in time, then that's actually really positive because this is coinciding with this, the Four of Swords which is asking you to rest, recover, commune with spirit, commune with your own soul, meditate, go within, find the answers, get a good rest, look after yourself, uh, a period of recovery after ill health. It's all um, you kind of rewriting, reassessing the story that's being told and you've told yourself and other people have told you about your life particularly in, related, in relation to this expectation or burden that is it might feel like it's been laid upon you. The, thing, the truth is that you have accepted it. You've accepted this burden and taken it upon yourself because you think that's what's expected of you and it may be what's expected. So it's rewriting the story, understanding there's a shift in mindset here as well. Your mind, clarity and the truth will set you free underneath we have the tower when you do go in and meditate and find that clarity the tower energy is there and this is shaking everything up for your greater good it's shaking up all those old stories it's shaking up um, your sense of self that has been built on a false foundation that is not good for you so it's a lot of assessing and it's actually really really positive because it's kind of allowing you to see yeah what is not good for you. And so then we come to this buffalo energy, which is this beautiful grounded energy. And when buffalo comes in, it's a very, very, like I said, auspicious sign that now is your time. There's a lot of really positive things coming about to come to you if they're not already, but there's just all this good stuff coming. And so they don't want you to have your heart, um, the flow of your heart energy blocked the, the self-nurturing blocks, you need to really look after yourself because there's something big coming here. So, yeah, really take some time to nurture, look after yourself, Libra, because that's a very important message coming through here for you. So, yeah, it's it's lovely. It's very soft. It's very gentle. There's a lot of lovely soft love energy around this reading, Libra. And, yeah, it's actually really nice. So, uh, this is where I'm leaving this reading. If you'd like to 
um, delve into this deeper. I'd love it if you came over to the deep read. We'll have a sneak peek into the future beyond. We'll get some more information and some clarification, some more spirit message messages coming through for you. So the link is in the description box below. Just click on that. It will take you over to Vimeo and then you can click on your sign Libra. If this is where we're leaving each other, thank you so much for joining me, Libra. I hope that this helped and resonated. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And take care, Libra. I'll see you next time. Bye.